What's going on guys, Nick here from Metalogic and today we're going to walk through how to connect Call High Level with Twilio and then we're going to learn how to create the call tracking phone numbers that you will use on your Google Ads. So we'll learn how to create the numbers that swap on your landing pages as well as how to create a mobile quick to call number to use directly on your Google Ads to track the keywords and conversions. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so to start, you're actually going to need to create a Twilio account. They do give you a free trial, which I'm not too sure how far that gets you as we do use the paid version of Twilio. But I did make this Twilio account as a free trial just to show you how things work and how you would connect your Twilio account to Go High Level when you do have the full account. So what you would do, and I'll shrink this down here, is you'll go into your Go High Level account here at the account view or the agency dashboard. Go into settings, go into phone integration, and then you'll see you have two options here. So lead connector phone system is actually a new thing that just rolled out this month. I'll actually leave the link in the description below so you can read all about that. I believe it's like the same thing as Twilio, but they do provide discounts. I'm not sure how good it is yet, um, but what I do, I'll make another video about that. But what we're really focused on is this connect to Twilio. So you can see we already have a number connected, which we're going to leave there, but I want to show you how to do it if you're doing this brand new in, from a brand new account you just made. So you'll make your Twilio account and you'll see at the homepage here under account info, you'll see the account SID and the authority token. So what you would do is you'd go to connect to Twilio accounts. You will obviously put in your credentials. And then from here, what you would do is you would copy this, put it here, same thing with authority token, place it here and authorize. So once that is done, um, your account is now connected to Twilio. And what you would also would want to do is click this little button here, this little box that's saying automatically create sub account, meaning that any sub accounts you create from now on, from the moment that you connected your Twilio account will automatically um, be connected to Twilio, right? So once you connect it, Twilio will actually make its own sub account within Twilio itself for the sub account on Kohai level, if that makes sense. So it'll correlate um, and then you can check it that way. So that's how you connect your Twilio to Kohai level. I'm actually going to create a brand new sub account for you so we can work from scratch here. So just give me one second. So here we are at the sub account level. Um, just remember that all of the Twilio stuff in terms of connecting the Twilio account to your Kohai level account needs to be done at the agency view. But from the rest of this video and on, we're going to be operating in the sub account level. So to get started, let's go ahead and go into settings within our sub account, go into phone numbers, and let's create our number pool first. So if you don't know what a number pool is, essentially what it does is when someone clicks on your website from a Google ad, the number that is located on the website itself, so that's called the swapping target, that will be switched out for another number that we have selected to be in our number pool. So what happens is when someone calls that number from the website on the number pool, we get a ton of information in regards to the keyword that was um, searched in order to, that brought your customer to the landing page, the duration of the call, um, was it a first time call or not, as well as any other information such as the person's name if that is available. So to get started, what you would do is in number pool, go to this nice little green add number pool button. We want to track visitor activity. And then since we are doing this for a Google ad, we're going to do visitors from Google ads. If you do all visitors recommended instead, it doesn't work quite the same if at all. So we found out that if you're running Google ads and you want to track all the information from Google ads, your best bet is to select visitors from Google ads. So let's go ahead and create our number pool. So let's begin by naming our number pool. We'll call it calls from landing page. And then here you get to select the pool size, which is the numbers that are going to be rotating throughout your landing page. I think eight is a little overkill. So we typically do four for our tracking numbers. And then we want to forward the calls to our office number, our phone number, whichever number works for you, whichever number will pick up the most. So for this example, let's do 888, 888, 888. And then your swapping number 
you have the option to make it the same as the forwarding number or not. Um, again, the swapping number is the number that is found on the landing page that will be changed out with one of our new tracking numbers. So if you want to change the swapping number, um, what you would do is you just unselect the same as forwarding number, place in the number that you want the swapping target to be, and then continue on with the process. But for us, we'll leave this the same. And then obviously down here, please confirm that you're buying and adding four new phone numbers, which we were okay with. So we'll go next into our tracking options. So you do have a few options um, of what you can do here within Go High Level. So you can select the numbers local to the area code found in your website or found your phone numbers. You can select a toll free number, which is a little bit more of an upcharge, but don't think it'll break the bank for most of you. Um, then you can go ahead here, change the area code to your toll free number. And then you can also select a number in a different area code. So let's say, for example, in Miami, there are two very popular area codes. You have 786 and 305. Let's say you have a 786 number. If you want instead a 305 number, it'll go ahead and swap that out for you. But for this example, let's go ahead and do toll free number 8888. And here are going to be our numbers that swap. So now let's go into number features. So within number features, you can do some really cool things here. You have the whisper meshes, which essentially is going to be when someone calls you from your Google ad that from your landing page, right? One of those swap targets and you pick up the phone, you'll actually get a message before the call saying, Hey, call from Google ads, or this is going to be a Google ads call. You can actually go ahead and edit the message here. So you can go ahead. This is a call from Google ads. And then what you do to select that would be press this button right here and then call recording. So this gets a little tricky depending on where you are. Typically we just want to leave it off for legal purposes. Um, and also too, if you want to give them kind of a warning, if your state does require it, what you would do is you could just call will be recorded for quality assurance. That way the customer knows that the, the calls being recorded, you're not liable for anything. And um, yeah, essentially that's how you create your number pool. Again, this is going to be an example. I really don't want to pay for another few numbers. So what you would do from this step on is activate your number and then your number pool will appear here. And now let's go ahead and create our click to call number. So next we'll be creating our mobile click to call number. So what this will be is in your Google ads, in your call extensions, this is the number you will attach to those extensions. So that way when someone does call from your ad directly, you do get the same information as you would in your number pool, i.e. the number that calls you, the duration, first time caller, et cetera. So to do that, you'll go into phone numbers, add number, Search up the area code you want. So we had 888. Go ahead and click search. We have available numbers. We're going to copy this one and come back to this later. Again, I'm not going to be purchasing this number, but for the video's sake, pretend that I do. So we're going to be select this number here, save. And then we're going to edit it here. So we have number name is going to be mobile click to call extension, forward calls to 888-888-888. Um, call connect feature, that's fine. Whisper message, yes, no. Incoming call timeout, opt out call timeout, all looks good. So it's gonna help go ahead and do update. So now this is going to be Fairly simple, what you would do in your Google Ad asset, and I'll show you this in a second here. Copy this number, paste in the asset. Um, we'll create the conversion action in Google Ads, but essentially that is about it. So now that we've created both our phone numbers and number pool, let's go ahead and go to Google Ads so I can show you how to put it all together in order to track your phone numbers. So now that we have created our phone numbers and number pool, what we will be doing is going into Google ads and then creating the conversion actions for both of these things within Google ads, and then coming back into go high level to create the automation. So that way you're tracking your phone number conversions correctly. So 
Before we get into the Google ad side of things, what you will need to do is go into integrations here, still in settings, and then you want to connect your Google ad account to go high level. So that way when we are automations and you do see the ads, Google ads element or action, the content or the conversion action will automatically populate there. So go ahead and do that for me. And then once you do that, let's go ahead and hop into Google ads. So once you are in your Google ads account, you'll want to click tools and settings on the top right here under measurement, click conversions. And then from here, we're going to be setting up our conversion actions for the number pool, as well as the mobile click to call number. So let's first start off by doing the number pool. So we'll go ahead and select new conversion action. You want to do import for the kind of conversion you want to track. Other data sources or CRMs, track conversions from clicks. Continue. Goals and optimization, you want to do converted lead. Open this drop down here and make sure that these are a primary action. You can name your conversion. So we'll go ahead and do Twilio calls from landing page. The value, if you do have a value that you do attribute to your leads or conversions, go ahead and implement that here. Um, for the sake of this video, we're going to select do not use a value for this conversion action. And next we have our count. So if you did leave it as every, what would happen is if you have repeat callers, right? That would essentially continuously add to the number of call conversions. So let's say someone calls five times, that tells Google Ads it's going to be five conversions. So we don't want that. We really only want to count the new incoming calls that um, are as a result from our Google Ads campaigns. So go ahead and do one. You can leave the click through conversion window to 90 days and the attribution model is going to be first click. If you need to follow along, you're more of a uh, you know, reading person, I'll put the link in the description below to the go high level article that goes through this whole process. So that is how you create your conversion actions for the swapping targets. So let's go ahead and do continue with Google click identifiers done. So next we're going to do the mobile click to call number. So again, create a new action and this one is going to be phone calls. It's going to be calls using your call extension or calls ads only. And then from here, we're going to make sure it's a phone call lead. Again, primary action. The conversion name will just be mobile click to call number Twilio. Again, same thing with the value, same thing with the counts. Um, the call length is whatever you attribute to be a good call conversion or a good call. We always do 60 seconds because if typically it's under 60 seconds, it's a probably a whatever call anyway. Click through conversion window will leave. Attribution model again, we'll do first click, create and continue. So now we are done setting up both of those conversion actions. So let's go ahead and do the mobile click to call in an ad. Let's see what that looks like. And then we'll go back into go high level, create the automations and then wrap up the video. Okay. So I've just created this really quick campaign to show you what the ad would look or the phone call extension look like in an ad. So what we'll do is go into ads and assets, assets, add a call asset here from the drop down. What you want to do is add this to your campaign. You will want to essentially copy the phone number we have here from Go High Level. So we'll copy this number here, place it in our Google ad. Conversion action is going to be one we just made, mobile click to call number Twilio, and then we'll click save. So now when our ads are displayed and this phone number is displayed with the ad, what would happen is um, now those calls are being tracked. So we know who's calling, how long the call is, the keyword that led to the call and all this other great information. Just a little bit of a warning. If for some reason Google does not um, 
approve your number, right? So sometimes with tracking numbers, they don't really approve it. What you would do is you'd actually just go ahead and submit your website into Search Console, and from there, your um, phone number should be working. So that is that. We've essentially submitted the or created the two conversion actions we need for our phone call tracking. Now let's go ahead and go back into Go High Level, create the automations needed to track your call conversions, and then let's wrap this thing up. Alrighty guys, here we are in the back end of the video finally. If you have stayed with us since the beginning so far, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and create the automations needed to track your call conversions. So let's go ahead and go into our automations from Go High Level and create a new workflow. For this one, we'll just start from scratch. Press continue and we'll name this workflow uh, let's do, let's do calls from landing page. We have done that first the whole time. So calls from landing page workflow, and let's get into it. Um, to preface this, remember that if you did not integrate Google Ads into Go High Level, this will not work. That is a necessary step, and that is going to be true for our, this automation and the next automation. So remember to do that before you get to this part of the video. So to start, let's add our new trigger. We'll do call status. We're going to name this, ooh, that's not the right one. We'll go ahead and name this landing page call swap. And we're going to add the filter call status, or sorry, call direction incoming. Add the filter in number pool. And remember, since I did not create a new number pool for the video, that I will not have this drop down appear here. But since you have created a new number pool, hopefully, um, what you would do is then select that number pool and select save trigger. So we'll just go ahead and do that for now. The next action we like doing is adding a contact tag to the person that calls. So when they do call, they get a tag saying, called from landing page attached to their contact profile in go high level. So we have add tag calls from landing page. We'll also name that up here, call from LP, save the action. And this is the most important step. What you would do is the action is going to be under add to Google AdWords. Conversion is going to be Twilio calls from landing page as we named it previously and select save action. Now from here, you can go ahead and set this up as, as you would like, right? So you can go ahead and add a, let's say a text to the person, an email to the person that submitted the form. You can add an opportunity, put them in a workflow. Um, this is a brand new sub account, so I don't have any of those set up. But from this point down, that is up to your discretion, but this is the foundation you need to essentially set up the call conversions from your landing pages. And you don't even need this tag, that's just a personal preference of mine, but this workflow is done for now. So what you would do is press publish, save, and now we have this workflow completed. Let's go ahead and create the mobile quick to call workflow. So again, create a new workflow, start from scratch, continue, is going to be call status. The again is going to be call direction, incoming, add the filter in phone number, since we created a new phone number, mobile ex or mobile quick to call extension, save trigger. So we'll name it, let's name this trigger, mobile click to call trigger. Save that. Again, Google ads. We're going to do, so actually Google Ads sometimes, it does this where you do not have all of the conversion actions you've created. So what you would do actually, work around here, is you select other, go into your conversion actions, right? You would, I want you to copy this exactly how it is, go back into Go High Level, and paste the conversion name. That's all you need to do. It will work the same as the other workflow we just did, I promise. 
Um, but that is what you need to do if that does happen. Save the action. And then again, from here on, that is up to your discretion. I didn't even add the tag to this one, but again, I would add the tag. I would add the ads opportunity, the follow-up email and text messages. But again, that is up to you. This is how you essentially call or track all of your calls um, for ads using Go High Level. Alrighty guys, before we end the video, this is a really important step that I need to hammer down. Adding the number pool and the swap targets is not enough. You actually need to add the snippet of code to your website, telling your website that when someone does click a Google ad and is brought there, that the swap target you've set is swapped for a number in our number pool. So here is a current client we have. I'll obviously blur out the information for privacy sake. And you're going to go into number pool and click the little information icon all the way to the right. You're gonna click it and copy this normal snippet of code found here. Then you will go ahead and go into Google Tag Manager, make a Tag Manager account and then you're going to add a new tag. So we're going to name the tag calls from landing page. The tag configuration is going to be custom HTML. And what you'll do is paste the code that you found from go high level here. Triggering, you will most likely want this on all pages. So we'll go ahead and do all pages, save, and then you'll submit this. If you want to test out the call swapping function, what you would do is you would open an incognito tab, open a new tab here, and then type in your URL, but don't press submit yet. What you would do is you're going to go backslash GCLID equals test, or backslash question mark, GCLID equals test. And what this does is simulate a click from a Google ad. So that way your website is told to swap out the swap targets from a number from our number pool. So that is it for today's video, guys. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I will do my best to get to all of them. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And until next video, guys, I'll see you later.